cardigan at the perfect items for traditional seasons or maybe you just like me sometimes you are sick of wearing always the same sweater and by the evening a little bit chill but not chill enough you can feel the cold oh a good cardigan is so cozy and lovely let me show you how not to wear a cardigan like a grandmother but always looking classic and modern this video is sponsored by Nord Green. first thing you need to avoid when you wear a cardigan is to pick those cardigans with any type of embellishment. You know the one with the flowers, the crochet, the bling bling, the diamantes and horror of horror, those Christmas cardigans with I don't know his name, the deer and Santa and I'm like oh my gosh I don't understand about what is happening with this ugly fashion by the way. As a mature woman you want to look elegant, classic and modern and still enjoying your cardigan so please stay away of any type of those crazy designs actually it doesn't matter which age you are it will not suit anyone it's a big no-no run away you see one you just run away now green is a fantastic scandinavian brand especially from denmark and they're creating beautiful watches jewelry and eyewear the type of design are very timeless minimalist lovely design very classic you cannot go wrong with one of those beautiful watches it's everything opposite to frumpy it's just like even with a cardigan and a beautiful watch you will look stylish no matter what plus I'm not the only one to love this brand actually they've seen in New York Times, Grazia, Juki, Bazaar, Vogue and on my channel <laughs> The packaging is made of recycling paper and plastic bottles, which I absolutely love that. They're very sustainable brand, which is extremely important for me. Also, every watch sold contribute to a cause that you can choose on the website so you can choose between water for good for clean drinking water in central africa republic cool earth to preserve the rainforest or prafam to educate children in india the watch I'm wearing today is one of the best sellers, it's called Native. It's this one I picked this time, it's got the white dial and it's all in silver with the tree link strap. When you go on the website, which is fantastic about the watches, you can customize the color, the strap, the style, the leather, the vegan leather, anything you want. They have so multiple options online. The sky is the limit and they're always going to look good on you. Be fast because for the Black Friday, they have a special offer you don't want to miss. So enjoy 15% off on top of all Black Friday special discount plus up to 40% by applying my unit unique coupon Fred. Everything will be linked below in my description for your convenience. I always said be aware and know what is your body shape. This is so important. If you're not sure, I got a full styling course about it which is totally complete and I will link it below but also I got some videos for you. When you know your body shape, I do believe personally for me I'm an inverted triangle. Any type of really short or even cropped doesn't look very good on me because my torso is not long enough and it make me look like I, I know I have massive shoulders it's just not good for me but if it's good for you you like those type of short cardigan what you could do is try to wear the same color underneath to have something more uniform and more elegant it doesn't mean because a cardigan is comfortable and beautiful absolutely love them that you have to look frumpy that's a big no no we don't want to look frumpy so to avoid that try to stay away way of any type of cardigan with a lot of volume with a lot of fabrics you know the one with the color on different stages I don't know what's going on because actually it's doing totally opposite if you want to hide something on your body it's adding more volume it makes you look much bigger same with a different type of pockets as well or any types of sleeves you know the bat sleeves or any type of puffy sleeve I love them especially but if they are too much or they connected to the rest of the body again that's going to give you way too much fabric that you really not only you don't need to and it doesn't gonna do good for your body be sure you smash the like button as well subscribe click 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 this way I know which type of video you like or not so I can create more for you 
custom just for you. Thank you so much. Be careful as well for the top of shape of the cardigan. Some has some rounded uh, corner. That's really not my favorite. It just look a little bit outdated and uh, you want something more modern, a little bit sharper. But if you really like the rounded one, then try to wear more like a cami or even a bodysuit underneath. It's just about rebalancing the silhouette. If you like a cardigan with a little bit more texture, especially like a cable knit or wool thing, you know, they are fantastic and so comfortable. But to avoid to look frumpy when you wear this type of cardigan, please be careful of the size. Don't go oversized. And actually, I will even recommend you to go a size under if you try it in a shop, okay? Buy online, that can be a bit tricky because they're really big. So for example, if you're usually an M, go for the S, even for an oversized shirt, it works for the same because they're always big and they will fit you anyway and fitted looks much better than baggy. <laughs> be careful as well with the trendy cardigan. You know, the one with different colors or the one who have more than three colors, especially the one with a large strap. It looks really good on the website, but on you, it looks like a color block. So it's cutting off literally your body and you really don't want that. So I will definitely recommend instead wearing maybe one color or if you wear different pattern, just be sure they are cohesive and from far away, you don't look like you are in three different pieces. <laughs> Always check the sleeves on the cardigan because the perfect sleeves can be very fashionable, such as this one, for example, but it can bring as well a lot of volume here and you can tell the couture here is going more lower than my shoulder. <laughs> I knew that will happen. <laughs> And if you don't want that, I will definitely recommend you to wear more like a classic cut, something that you show the couture will really sit well on your shoulder and the sleeve looks like a classic sleeve, if I might say. So this one is more like a fitted style and it will definitely help you to not only rebalance your silhouette, but definitely look slimmer as well. If you really love patterns, for example, this is the biggest pattern that I have and it's a duster. It's one of my favorite. If you can carry something like that with more defined color on the front, so that it looks like almost like a light coat, then I love wearing this cardigan only if I have this type of monochrome look underneath because it's muted. It's a very loud piece, if I may say, and very lovely. But you have just to be careful that you don't wear pattern underneath, for example. That makes sense to me, but I'm sure you knew that already, right? The best way to wear a cardigan and you can show a little bit of skin is to have anything with a v-neck, a t-shirt or a shirt because not only rule number one in styling again, not only is going to elongate your silhouette and make you look a bit taller, but it's always beautiful to show a little bit of skin and a little bit something warmer inside. Tiny, tiny tip, but very important, especially if you don't want to look older than your age. When you have a blouse or a shirt like me with a collar like this, mine is a little bit loose because this one is in silk. Please, please do not wear the cardigan and then you readjust the collar over it. This screams old fashioned, this cream outdated. Don't do it, keep the collar inside, Let the cardigan out. Please remember this one because I've seen making this mistake so many times. If you wear a dress under your cardigan or even maybe just a black top with a black jean and you want to create a little bit of definition, super easy to do with a belt because the belt will definitely define your waist. That's the definition of a belt and holding your pants as well. But it's just gonna bring something a little bit more interesting as well in the terms of if you do the same color. So which type of cardigan should you wear? I think that depends again uh, by your body shape, what you like or don't, of course. To me, the short one or just the one happening on top of my hips, I really don't like it. It doesn't make me feel good because I always consider a cardigan to be like a light coat. And to me, a coat, it's a the length, okay? Saying that I'm only five foot two, no, I didn't grow. <laughs> so something very long, like a long duster will definitely bring a bit heaviness on my silhouette, especially if it's got some pattern like my duster. 
but when I do that, the best way to cheat and to wear something long, because I still love it, because this is a light coat for me in winter time, again, is to wear something very muted underneath. And ankle boots looks very good with cardigan, and it's the season anyway. And in the same color of my pants, just to elongate my legs, to make me feel like I'm a super model. <laughs> that will be the trick. But probably my favorite size or length, should I say, for the cardigan, it's when it's just mid leg. I think that I'm comfortable. It can hide my derriere if I have a bad derriere day. Yes, that happened to me as well. And it makes me feel warm and I can elevate the look just by with accessories, you know, the belt, the bag will definitely do it and a nice pair of shoes. Everybody can look super elegant in a cardigan, but you need to know how to choose the right one, the right size, the right color. <laughs> oh, that's a big job. Thank you, Nargreen, for kindly sponsoring this video.